Hey y'all, welcome back to the C-Squad. Um, in today's video, we are going to be deconstructing Dana. We're gonna be killing her. So we're gonna kill Dana today. You gotta be so mean about it. Um, we put out the video yesterday. God, it is bright this morning. Bright. Oh, I can't even see y'all. So we put out a video yesterday <laughs> for Katie at Mitzer Creek Farm. If you guys don't know her, go che check her check out. Check her out. We'll put a link for her channel down below. Uh, we God, we haven't put a link in for a channel in. And I don't Who know. knows? God knows how long. But anyway, uh, we, we heard from Katie this morning. She kind of confirmed what we were afraid was going to happen. Dana's dead. Was that Dana is probably dying and rotting. But still salvageable. Still salvageable. So um, we're actually on our way to Home Depot to get a couple things for... Because I think one of the main... Google. Well, I learned from Google. It probably is blossom rot, um, which is a lack of calcium, calcium according to Google. So... Um, you guys saw in yesterday's video that we still have the other Big Macs pumpkin. Well, we don't want that one to rot as well. Got a fly over there? Yeah. I so <laughs> you, you need to catch it. It just went past me. No, um, so we're going to go and we're going to try to get some stuff to put some calcium. So that our big pumpkins, because it said big pumpkins need lots of calcium. So that way our big pumpkins don't die like Dana did. Yeah. And then she also told us, which I had no idea, because again, we don't know anything about this. We're kind of learning as we do it, is we have all of our pumpkins on concrete. Yeah, we like slate stone rocks. slate rocks or whatever. Um, apparently, that's not good. Uh, that cr creates um, what should maybe makes make them decompose quicker. Decompose, yeah. um, now we don't have. We're at the end of our growing season, pretty much. So we're not going to go out and get all kinds of, you know, wood slabs to put under them. So we don't know. Should we take all the rock out? I don't know. We don't know what we should do. If we should just remove all the rocks from underneath. Because the other ones are sitting on straight concrete. Those we have nothing yeah. we can't do about. So. But I was also reading that if you let them sit in like high grass, then they don't get sun and they get wet from the grass. From the grass and I don't yeah. know. Uh, so I don't know if we should take it off or leave it on. Um, but I thought it would be fun in this video to... Cut that baby open. Cut that baby open. Well, I want to weigh her first. So we're... The goal, we're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to come home. We'll meet you back of the crib back we're gonna crib. we're gonna cut dana off the vine okay we're gonna weigh her yes um i think she's probably gonna be like eight pounds yeah eight to ten pounds that's what she feels like. i'm gonna say she's like eight pounds mm -hmm. um and at that point we're gonna take a big knife and we're gonna hack her open and we're gonna see what's going on inside on the inside and, um, um what is this dude doing he's I walking don't know in the middle of the street jaywalking that's what he's come doing come on bro get come out on, the road bro. i got things to do anyway um so, so anyway, we're gonna cut that bad boy open and we're gonna see what's going on inside she said we might be able to eat it we can cook it like zucchini so we yeah. will see we might I'm um also, you know what also we oh, tell them about the blossoms. we have been collecting the male flowers because apparently you can eat squash blossoms we're stuff them. so we're gonna stuff some squash blossoms with ricotta cheese right yeah and ham and ham and we might do a mukbang on it so i think that would be a fun mukbang because you don't usually see People doing squash blossoms. Squash blossoms. Squash blossoms. So, um, we'll see you guys in a little bit when we get back to the crib and cut that open. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the car. Let me show you guys what we got from Home Depot. Alright. So, we got organic garden lime. Now, the reason that we got this is because, let me show you here, it has. Calcium. 21% calcium. And it has magnesium. So calcium and magnesium, neither of those are in the 10 10 10. That we've been using this whole time. So we're hoping that this kind of helps. Because again, I think we are having a calcium deficiency. So we're gonna try that. And then we were gonna get tell them what were we gonna get? We we're gonna get like this landscaping fabric to put under the pumpkins, because that's what Google said. But we found this instead. Alright, so we found this. Cheaper. It's kindling for fires, but we're going to multi-purpose it and use it under the pumpkins. Because look how thin it is. It's a nice thin wood, so that should help us. Yeah, so hopefully when we get back, we're going to take all of the stone off and put all this under. So we will see you guys when we get where? Back to the crib. <laughs> back to the crib. We are back at the patch and ready to cut Dana off. Let's go, guys. All right, let's get a shot of her before I cut it. Oh my God, I can't wait. We just cut her off. We just cut her. All right, so let's... Oh, should... Hold on, do that again so I get a screenshot. <laughs> All right, let's go weigh it. 
the weight is, baby. So I'm gonna say it's probably eight pounds. Let's see what she weighs, you guys. Oh, look at there's like some damage here. Damage there. Let's get this baby on that scale. Does she not weigh enough? Here, let's try it now. It said four point something. Four pounds, I think it said. Try it again. Try again. 4.4 4. 4. 4. 4. okay so she's 4.4 4 pounds um other than little, the softness on the bottom yeah she feels good she looks okay so let's, look, look how juicy she is too oh it's yeah like look dripping. at that can you even see you see that you see that juiciness oh, making it squirt oh uh, <laughs> all right it goes. all right let's cut the vine and measure it all right let's follow this vine come with me all right so this is the vine right here that Tana was on so I'm going to follow it all the way back. And it's this one right here. So, let's give this baby a cut right here. There you go. And let's pull it. I'm going to pull it up. See, now, if you look right here, they create root systems all the way down. So it's kind of like suction in. It roots itself all the way in. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's pull this up. Ooh. Look at all the, I mean, look. Them roots, guys. It literally roots itself all the way down. There we go. Okay. There she is. Whoa. Right, you can go ahead and uh, stop that post. <laughs> Check her out. Look how long that vine is. We are going to measure that. Lay this down. I can't even get it all in one shot. Let's I gotta come get, back here. Let's get our trusty tape measure. 25 feet. I'll take one in. You know what be fun? Give me that camera. Oh, you're gonna get Mike's view. Let's pick up the camera. Right, let's come down here and we'll, we'll measure this together. So we'll see how far this thing goes. All right, so we are at see all right this is the 15 foot mark so we are like close to 16 feet Whoa. almost 16 feet fine. now this is not our longest vine no i would say it's one of our shorter vines so we are going to measure our longest vine but there you go 16 feet all right, you ready to cut this baby open? Yes. Ooh, wait, wait. All right, go ahead. Straight down the middle? Yep. Let's find out what's inside. Are you all as excited as I am? Oh, this is so sad, though. Ooh, it's hard to cut. Maybe if you kind of, like, go down. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's see what it looks oh. oh. Huh. I was not expecting that. Okay, so. I was expecting it to be seriously rotted. I thought it was going to be really like brown. Really brown here? Yeah, let's... You can see how it's soft, though. Huh. It's just soft. The whole thing is just soft. So I'm hoping we didn't kill it for no reason. Oh, it was... It was... But yeah, it definitely is not as brown as I thought it was going to be inside. But you can see... see there's no seeds. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's no seeds, really. But you can see how soft it is, like, when I touch it. Let me cut it again? Yeah, you can cut it. But this was this was an interesting center. experiment. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. So it's really not that disgusting. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really... So we thought uh, it was going to be a lot worse. Than it was. So really, this is really just the, the soggy part. But you can see everything yeah. inside. Like, you can see how I can just pull that off my fingers. It's yeah. very soft. And even here... Were you cooking with this? Very soft. I was going <laughs> to put my whole hand into it. I'm going to shove your hand in it. Go ahead. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. That is Dana... She is um, gone. She's not as like disgusting looking as I thought she was going to be. As I was hoping. I was hoping she'd be like, really nasty inside. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed measuring the vine. You can't even tell our patch is missing a vine. No, you really can't. Um, so thank you again, Katie, from... From Mitzu Creek Farms. Uh, again, we're going to put the link down below. Um, go check her out. She has a nice farm she's doing out there. We saw she had some polar bear pumpkins, which is really cool. We might try Well, she got seeds year. for next year. Oh, she got them for next year, which is really cool. And... You know what, guys? We'll see you next time at the patch. Mwah!
Losing, we're losing. Tell them why. It just keeps getting worse, man. Oh. I found the dough inside, and look at this. It snapped off, our little kiwi. It snapped off. What is going on here? Mm. Let's cut this little guy open. It's kind of the same. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Not bad. R.I.P. little buddy. R.I.P. R.I.P.